live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Bruce Jenner's shocking betrayal. He's newly separated from Kris Jenner and now dating her best friend. And new drama for Charlie Sheen, the wedding is off. He's broken his engagement just weeks before walking down the aisle. Plus, fresh from their hit new reality show, Tiny and Chicana are here. Now, here's Wendy! In case you didn't know, every Monday, thanks Doug, it's an all hot topic show, every Monday. So, hope you had a great weekend. I did, I did um, on Friday, I spent the whole day doing my promo shoot for the Soul Train Awards, that's like the commercials and stuff. Um, and then, uh, I didn't get home until like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> You'll see how it all comes together once they superimpose other stuff behind me. But anyway, so I did that on Friday. Saturday, I was exhausted, but I spent the day at the mall with my son and my nephew, and we had lunch and bought some stuff. And then yesterday, I was in all day, luxuriating over lifetime. <laughs> Betrayal at 17, stalked at 17, guilty at 17, <laughs> missing at 17, fugitive, I'm not lying to you, it was all about 17, fugitive at 17, and then dead at 17. <laughs> The best day, thank you Lifetime. I had every TV on Lifetime, so I was still doing stuff, you know, like opening mail and shredding stuff. I made, you know, slow cooked chicken all day, but you know how like you go through the room, you still wanna see the movie, but you have stuff to do. So thank you Lifetime very, very much. So good. Bravo, every time I checked you out, you had that show on that I just am not able to get into below deck. Do you watch that? I don't like that. I don't like the Melbourne Housewives. I, you know, like, what happened? Anyway. <laughs> Here's a story I never thought that I'd be telling you. Bruce Jenner is reportedly dating a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and her name is Ron. Duh. <laughs> Um, and apparently, Rhonda was Chris's former assistant. And no, check this, and best friend of 20 years. No. Now look, for me and you, there'd be a problem. But Chris, I don't think, has the right to complain, considering some of the catting around alleged, that she's alleged to have done during her marriages. Aww. You know, um, catting around is not only for men, women do it too, and, and <laughs> Chris has become a little legendary at it. Um, but, so the girl uh, won Who'd You Rather with the guys here, you know, like Who'd You Rather? Here at Wendy, um, the new girl got it. Um, Here's the thing, Chris and Rhonda vacationed in Mexico together. Here's the picture, they're in the water with the sea lion. There's Rhonda over there, there's Chris right there. Yeah, uh-huh, Joe Francis right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't know, I, I mean, you know, and when um, Rhonda and um, Bruce, Etta, stepped out at the, um, 
I'm playing, I'm playing Bruce. Bruce, I'm playing. Okay, you do what you want with your life. Listen, when, when Bruce, and, uh, Bruce was at the Elton John concert, we were so focused on his new blowout that we, <laughs> didn't, that we didn't realize that Rhonda was there too. Let's, we've got the video to prove it. Look, and look how she looks at him. Look, I think they might be having the sex. Look, watch. <laughs> look, look, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, it's nice that Bruce has moved on. He definitely has a type, you know. She's cute, this girl right here, Rhonda. And Chris, we've always, or at least I've always said it, I think that Chris is a really good looking woman and she probably gives good sex, <laughs> you know? Like good, good. Uh, the problem is that attitude, you know? As she kisses you, she's sucking the soul out of you. <laughs> So let's move along. Everyone. Ah, I'm coming undone at the seams. <laughs> um, Charlie Sheen has called off his engagement. Aww. I know, this just happened on Friday. Well, he was supposed to marry this former porn star. Her name is Brett Rossi. And they were, supposed, they were supposed to get married next month. She's only 25 years old. And you know, she's already changed her last name. She did that like last spring, right? Last spring. Her name is um, um, Scottine Sheen. Scottine Scott 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 Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> Brett, Brett Rossi, I think, is her porn name. I, I don't, anyway, she doesn't do porn anymore. She was supposed to be the lady of the manor. And if she played her cards right, she would have been that. But Charlie decided to break off the engagement and focus on his relationship with his children. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Which is always a good thing, you know. There'll always be somebody for Charlie Sheen. He's a Sheen, you know, he's got money. He's got a nice personality. Um, anyway, so the deal with this, uh, with Charlie, first of all, is that he's been firing a lot of people in his life. Like, he's fired his team, like his management, I guess, you know, people like that. Um, the problem with Scottine Sheen is that she started piping up way too early. You know, she, she wasn't supposed to make demands. Like, she didn't want Denise Richards, Charlie's ex, who's his baby's mother, <laughs> to live in the house down the street from Charlie in the same neighborhood. Aww. Yes, made the kids move school systems and everything. Aww. Yes. You know, and, and um, she also doesn't like Charlie hanging out with his guy friends. Now, the problem with her is that you might not like certain things, Scottine Sheen, but what you should have done <laughs> is you should have waited for the second ring saying that you're married, waited for the ink to dry, and then start making demands. <laughs> She probably got some great travel though, cause Charlie loves to travel and he flies private. Um, she probably got some great clothes and some great handbags. And you know, she could straighten up. I mean, she's 25, who doesn't have a sorted past? Now maybe not working the pole or being a porn star. <laughs> and I don't mind a little porn every once in a while. I don't recognize her. Do, do you recognize her? I, I don't, don't be a cornball, Suzanne, okay? I'm horrified. <laughs> She, she looks like a school teacher or something. Now she goes back and she gets her education. Look, she's got like soccer mom hair. And I mean that in a good way. You know, she looks clean enough in the face. Her breast implants aren't distasteful. You know, she can actually straighten up her, it's not too late for you, Scottine Sheen. Just <laughs> next time wait for the ink to dry before you start making demands. Well. Donald Trump is fighting with Russell Brand. Oh. It's time for Celebrity Fight. Hit it. Yeah. So, apparently, this is what Donald tweeted. I watched Russell Brand on the Jimmy Fallon show the other night. What the hell do people see in Russell Brand? A major loser. And then Russell shot back, Donald Trump, are you drunk when you write these tweets? <laughs> or, look, or, does the, or does that foam you spray on your bald head make you high? <laughs> and, then, and then Donald tweeted back, because he loves a good Twitter feud, Donald tweeted back, Katy Perry, what the hell were you thinking when you married loser Russell Brand? 
There is a guy who has got nothing going, a waste. Who wins? Donald. And I'm gonna tell you why he wins. Because as soon as you fire back at him, he goes on and on. Like he loves a good Twitter feud. So he wins on that one. But by the way, um, we did some checking Donald. Russell wasn't on Jimmy Fallon, he was on David Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> By Russell tweeting back, it shows that Donald really ruffled his feathers, you know, made him jump out of his skin. Um, thing about Donald is that Donald fights with everybody on Twitter, you know, and it's he who claps back <laughs> that's gonna suffer the wrath. Because there's nothing you can say anymore about Donald Trump's hair. I mean, that is so old. You gotta come up with, you, you, you who fight with Donald, you have to come up with something new. He is who he is, and you know what? I like a person who stands in their conviction, even when the rest of the world makes fun of it, you know? So, good for you, Donald. And Russell, you'll be here next month. Um, we'll talk about it. Oh. Right, good. <laughs> so, this Iggy Azalea can't seem to catch a break. Well, the good news is, is that Maxim Magazine Australia, where she's from, just named Iggy the hottest, the hottest woman of the year. Yeah. But instead of being happy about it, she's furious. And I'll tell you why. Iggy uh, bashed her record label for giving Maxim a three-year-old picture to use for the cover. I know, I, you know what? I think you look nice. I, I wouldn't have known it was three years old, Iggy. I would have just assumed you put some brown wash in your hair. As a matter of fact, I couldn't tell whether this is Iggy with the booty implants or Iggy without the booty implants because <laughs> of the way she's posed. Do you know what I mean? It's a nice looking woman. I mean, I, you know, I hate that everybody bashes her and stuff. Look, she's got a nice little hip bone action going on over there. <laughs> you know, nice hip bones. Anyway, just be grateful, young lady, that anybody cares. <laughs> I'm just saying. And I'll tell you why. It's hard in entertainment to, to you know, make a song that the whole world knows, you know, from the younger people to the older people, and you know, they play it on the black stations and they play it on the top 40 stations and, and whatnot. And you know, because your 15 minutes of fame is only gonna last for a moment, you know? It's not like she's gonna be legendary, like legendary little Kim. You know, like Little Kim I think is a legend. And there's nothing wrong with not being a legend. Just understand that when they stop talking about you, it's over, Johnny. It's over. <laughs> so um, be grateful, Iggy, and we like you here at Wendy. <laughs> so now, <laughs> so now, Kylie Jenner is only 17 years old and she's, always got, she's already has baby mama drama. I know, well, you know. It's rumored that she's dating that rapper 24-year-old Tyga. A 24-year-old father of one is dating allegedly a 17-year-old. But here's his baby's mother, Black China. And Black China, um, it's been suggested that they have gotten together, you know, back together. She posted a picture of Tyga and their son, King Cairo. That's him. <laughs> My people and these names. <laughs> Posted a picture of their son, um, at King Cairo. They're at the birthday party and the caption was, my family. Aww. Well, she was um, a stripper or a porn star? A stripper. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, co-host. <laughs> That's what you're here for. Okay, so. She was a stripper and she's good friends with Kim Kardashian and the rest of them. And I would think that, you know, at, at least at this particular point in Tyga's life, I'm sure, well, in my mind, China and Tyga still get together, if you know what I'm saying. And, you know, I'm not going to suggest that Tyga is stupid enough to get it together with a 24-year-old, but in my mind, I have things going on, wondering why it is that they're over in Paris right now where the age of consent is 15, <laughs> working on um, Kylie Jenner. She wants to be a pop star. So, <laughs> what are you more disgusted at, him over there with her, or that she wants to be a pop star? She's gotta do something. She obviously isn't going to school. 
<laughs> you know? And, and I don't picture Kardashians being home trained. I don't picture the mother being around enough to make sure. I don't picture the mother around enough to open the door for the school teacher and listen from the other room to make sure that they're getting pro properly home trained. Kylie Jenner, since your mother's not gonna tell you, I will. <laughs> Girl, all fame ain't good fame. You are way out of your league. I mean, I don't think that any 17-year-old girl is supposed to be with a 24-year-old father of one. No, none of them, you know? I don't think a 17-year-old should be with a 24-year-old, although when I recalled, as I was going over the story this morning, I said, well, wait a minute, when I was 17, I was interested in 24-year-olds. Well, that's what the teen line was for. Don't you, don't you remember Bell Atlantic? They charge your parents the main price for the phone, and then they'd give your parents a discount for the teen line. And my sister's older than me, so she was off in college. My brother's younger. There was only one teen using that line, and there was no other end where you could pick up and listen to the conversation. I used to have it popping in my room. <laughs> on, but look, here's the thing. Here's the thing about, look. But that's, that's the thing about being larger at 17. You know, I was easily able to lie about my age and the 24 year olds, would they would never know the difference. But the real deal is what's going on in your head because, you know, I give out the number and upon the first phone call, I realized I'm way out of my league. Let me, let me just hang up politely. <laughs> Missy Elliott recently lost 30 pounds and she looks terrific. It's our hot shot of the day. Hit it. Show the before picture of Missy. I'm gonna tell you my favorite part of this story. It's all good. But you know what my favorite part is? That she still wears the same ring. Don't you love like when you see your celebrities, like sometimes in magazines they'll have um, a celeb who carries the same bag all the time, like five different pictures of it. I, I like that. I think it's so wasteful to have housekeeping steal it or, you know, <laughs> or, or pawn it if you don't have money or whatever. Anyway, back to you, Missy, my darling. You know, both of our birthdays are in July, so I always feel, a, you know, a, sp a specific um, closeness to, to people born in July, cancers. Missy um, says that she's doing Sean T's insanity workout. He's so cute. But he works out insanely. <laughs> Look, do you, do you ever see him on the infomercial and just stop and watch it like a TV show? <laughs> I do too, I do too. <laughs> Somebody told me that he watches our show, so how you doing, Sean T? Yeah, and, and you know what? And thanks for helping Missy. But now back to Missy. You know, she works out insanely, but she also has thyroid disease, disease, which sometimes when you have thyroid, then you get Graves' disease. And I have the Graves' disease. You know, it's, it's thin my hair, which is why I wear the wigs. I mean, I make fun, but I, I wear them because, you know, not that I'm bald. <laughs> because I walk around here with no wig on, as long as everybody's camera phone is away. Um, <laughs> But, you know, and, and for me, it's pressure behind my eyes, so sometimes when you see me do the scary stare, you know, I have to make a concerted effort to talk to you like a normal person, otherwise my eyes would be boinging out of my head. And for Missy, um, sh she said what it did for her is it, um, the Graves' disease has thrown off her equilibrium. Mine too, a little bit. I guess that's why I don't dance and walk very well, you know? <laughs> I have a disease, who's laughing? <laughs> um, Anyway, Missy, you look really terrific. And by the way, Missy, you know that the Aaliyah story includes you and Timberland and how you all first met. And Missy is portrayed in our Lifetime production of the Aaliyah movie as well, so, yeah. yeah. So, things are not looking good for John Gosling. He's single, he's unemployed, and now he's homeless. Oh. And you know, when you're homeless, you can't get visitation with your kids. Unless maybe you go to Starbucks or something like that. You get there early, you get a big table. Anyway, um, John was evicted from his Pennsylvania home. He wasn't able to meet his rent payments. And he's lost not one, but two jobs. Remember, he was working as a server at the, at the restaurant down the road in Pennsylvania. 
And then he was also working as a, as a, um, okay, help me. <laughs> yeah, no, you know what? They're there, they wait to see whether my memory will click in, yes. <laughs> He was working as an IT person, and um, he, apparently he lost these jobs. And I guess that's one of the things that happens when you're a reality star and you rely on that reality check and you don't spin it into something else or buy yourself like a McDonald's franchise while the money is going. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 do something with it. And so now he's got all those kids. Kate, who's a mean woman, is probably someplace laughing. Not that, not that she should help him out financially, but maybe. Just maybe there is a closet someplace in the house that could be long enough for him to ball up in with his sleeping bag. <laughs> just, just because, you know, the, it, and not for the purpose of Kate, but for the purpose of the kids. I mean, they, they, you know, that's a lot of kids and you know, he's homeless and he hasn't been able to hold down a job. And by the way, John, part of this is your fault. I'll tell you why. Apparently this John, when he was working as a server at the restaurant, he wasn't, pay, he wasn't following the rules like we would if we were working a, as a restaurant server. He was trying to make his own hours and sashay in when he was ready to work and, and, and leave at the end of the workday when he's finished. Well, you know, maybe John, if you just come down off your no home having horse for a moment. And I like John. If you watched the show when John was here, he gave us all the information, a very, very nice guy. But John, I tell you this, the holiday season is coming up and now's the time to start putting in for one of those jobs that are gonna be available someplace. You know, you've got eight mouths to feed, my man. Um, anyway, thank you, John. Uh, look, I want to remind you guys that um, I'm gonna be hosting and performing at, how you laughing? It's, it's a comedy show that um, I'm doing and hosting. It's gonna be November 15th over at NJ Pack in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be performing with Lunel, <clears throat> Lunel, Jonathan Martin, Pat Brown, Hadia Robinson, and Mimi Simpson. Plus, I've got my DJ Antoine Qua from Newark who's gonna be zuga zuga zugging. And of course, our house DJ here, DJ Boo! <laughs> To find out how you can get the tickets for How You Laughing, go to wendyshow.com. Um, our Hot Topics Hour continues. Reality stars and real life hot topics, Tiny and Chicana are here. <laughs> but up next, we've got the inside scoop on the family member that Kanye has banned around his baby North. Don't miss it. She's forever our girl, Paula Abdul, and we're putting her in the hot seat. <laughs> Plus more fabulous October makeovers. How do you feel? Gone with the wind, fabulous. Okay. Tomorrow on an all new Wendy. Inside scoop here with your juicy stories from OK TV. Say hello to Alex Miranda. Yeah. Hey, Alex. Hey, I miss right. you. <laughs> Let's talk about Robin Thicke and his divorce party. Oh my gosh. So divorce parties are a thing now. P.S. Did everybody know this? This is like uh, an actual they, thing. They're only the best thing ever. I know. I agree with you. Okay, so uh, Paula filed for divorce not too long ago, October 3rd, and she's seeking joint custody of their son, Julian. Uh, both of them are taking this in two completely different directions. Yeah. So Robin has thrown himself a massive divor divorce party, allegedly, starting at Hyde Nightclub, which is a very exclusive club in Los Angeles, Moving on to his home in the Hollywood Hills, I in attendance, it. a bunch of beautiful women, including models, and get this, A-list celebrities. We are talking Leonardo DiCaprio. Excellent. Tom Hardy. Excellent. Insane. So lots of flirtation going on throughout the night, um, and sources say that Robin was actually flirting with a beautiful brunette, mm -hmm. uh, holding her hand, taking her to the dance floor. Mm -hmm. But what I think is mm -hmm. the most fun part of the story is and I want you to look at this picture as I say this. So they have a name for each other, this group of guys. Two words, first word is the other word for a cat. If you can think about it, second word is posse. So put them together and take a look at the photo. Now, I, I mean, they're, they're a little old to be so immature about that, but clap <laughs> if you like the idea of a divorce party after all those years being married.
I mean, What's odd, though, is that this is the guy who named his album I know, I Paula know. with the song Get Her Back. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I like I like the divorce party. Now tell what Paul is doing. I don't like okay. this. Okay, so Paula is much more discreet about it. Uh, but uh, when we take a look at an Instagram picture a little bit later on, maybe not so much. But so she has been photographed outside of uh, restaurants with her friends just recently without a wedding ring. Take a look at They're the They're not married right anymore. They're not married anymore, but looking fantastic, uh -huh. looking fabulous, smiling for the cameras, for paparazzi. That's the good part, Alex. That's the get, good get part. Get to the bad part. Okay, so now we're gonna head to Instagram, which is where everything goes now. So there is a musician in Los Angeles by the name of Zach Waters. So he posted a photo in her house and he captioned it, my new view. <laughs> Now the word this on was the street, October third that now, the divorce was filed. Now the word on the street is that they're living together. Paula recently bought a two mm -hmm. million dollar home, and right. my thought is this is a very bad idea because I think Paula has been involved with Robin since they were fourteen years old. Yeah, you know, long she, relationship. She needs to get around town and date and, and 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 be squired by several different men. I don't like that this guy posted this picture. It smacks of being an opportunist. Right. It's a little fast. It kind of blew up her spot. Right. That's what I was thinking. I don't like. I don't I hope they're not I hope you're not living with him Paula I really and I yeah. hope he's not the only one in your life if you know what I'm saying and I think you do yeah. Yeah. Um, okay let's move on to Kanye banning a Kardashian from um, a family member from baby North seriously who does not love like another Kanye story but this one is not really about Kimye so Kanye is allegedly banning are you ready for this Scott Disick banning Scott Disick. And what he's saying is allegedly that Scott is a bad influence. He thinks he's dangerous. He doesn't know what he's going to say. And we're talking about Baby North. He doesn't know what he's going to say, what he's going to do around Baby North. He is drinking again. So you never know what's going to happen there. And P.S. Scott Disick was hospitalized for drinking on his birthday this past year in June yeah. for alcohol poisoning. Yeah. So, you know... Connie's allegedly saying basically this is not only bad for the family and for Baby North, but also bad for the brand, which has become so enormous since Kanye and Kim got together. So he's the only one bad for the brand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so the family um, was at that famous Hollywood place where celebrities go and take their kids and pretend that they're great parents and they're around them all the Mr. time. Mr. Bone. So it's kind of like the ivy of pumpkin patches. Yeah. All the celebrities go there. Mm -hmm. But take a look at the pictures. We've got, like, you know, most of the people in the family of Kim. You have uh, Courtney was there with the kids. Yeah, there's Chris. Mason. Everybody was there, including Kanye. Except but for Scott. notably, Scott's not there at the well, pumpkin I, you know patch what? during I, Halloween. I don't think that this is um, um, putting a thread between uh, Courtney and, and Kim. I don't think it's bad for the sisters, you know, uh, because usually women hang out with the kids without our men anyway, yeah. you know, when they're young. And the only thing that he'll have to do, uh, Kanye, is put up with Christmas time at that <laughs> woman's house. You know, I, you know, but it's big enough they don't all have to be in the same room. I mean, I get what he's saying, but there's way more bad influences, I would think, on Baby North than just Uncle Mason. I mean, Uncle... Uh, <laughs> Huh. Look at yeah. his face. So Courtney's uh, perpetually that, pregnant. Good for yeah, her. Yeah, so uh, Courtney's pregnant again. Yeah. Uh, but what is interesting, though, connected to what you were saying, is that maybe he wasn't at the pumpkin patch, but he was at One Oak Nightclub in Las Vegas not too long ago hosting a party, bottle service, half-naked chicks all over the place. You know how it goes in Las Vegas. Yeah. So, you but know, he, the parting that, ways are not all the way behind him. But that was also probably a paid appearance where he right. probably got, you know, 75000 or something or another to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, so it's also his way of bringing in money. Um, thanks for these great stories. Thank I, you so much, I, really, By the way, is she having a boy or a girl? Okay, so you guys ready for this? She is, allegedly, many sources are saying... Having a girl, which is so great because Courtney is the oldest sister in her family. Yeah. So now Penelope, her daughter, will be the oldest in theirs. Good for you, Courtney. Uh, for more information on this celebrity dish, everybody, go to uh, your local listing for OKTV. OK Thank you very much, Alex. Wendy, I love you. Thank uh, you. Next, everybody, <laughs> Tiny, Shikana, and Shikana's booty. <laughs> and that's still to come. Up next, we've got Celebrity Fan Out. Keep it here. <laughs>
Um, our first one comes from Bobby G, who watches The Wendy Show on KTTV in Los Angeles. Bobby writes, Hi, Wendy. I was walking down Rode Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills when I saw the most beautiful bald woman. It was none other than Amber Rose. <laughs> Bobby says she was trying to hurry away from the paparazzi, but she stopped to take a photo with me. Yeah, she's a nice woman. Uh, hey, Amber. So you and Nick were at Knott's Berry Farms this weekend? Riding the front seat in a roller coaster? Oh. Nobody was with you all? Oh. And the five cars behind you on the roller coaster were empty? Oh. Damn, is this a nosy show? <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound like a business meeting to me, Mariah. I don't mean to start anything, I'm just... All right, all right, look. Uh, Katrina M. is our next one. She watches The Wendy Show on KDFW in Cedar Hill, Texas. Katrina writes, Wendy, when I found out that one of my favorite reality stars was going to be in town, I rushed to meet Phaedra Parks. Yeah. So apparently, Phaedra was visiting the local library as a part of her book tour, um, and she'll be visiting a divorce lawyer uh, while, <laughs> while Apollo is, is in jail. Okay, um, our next celebrity fan app comes from Paula H., who watches The Wendy Show on WZDX Indicator, Alabama. And Paula writes, Hi, Wendy, I was at the airport when I spotted Paula Abdul. Um, she says, uh, when she passed me with her entourage, I chased after her, I asked her for a photo, and despite uh, despite looking like a complete lunatic, Paula agreed. Yeah, she was at the airport because she's probably flying here. She'll be here tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> our next, our, our final one, damn, is from Robin M. I love these. Like, I could do this all day. Our final uh, fan out comes from Robin M., who watches The Wendy Show on KTTV in Los Angeles, California. And Robin writes, how you doing, Wendy? My daughter and I were doing some retail therapy at the Grove when we ran into... Iggy Azalea. Robin says they love her Australian accent. Us too. Listen, if you have a celebrity encounter and you want to share it with us because you got the picture and stuff, go to wendyshow.com and find out the details and then you can be in our next celebrity fan out. <laughs> Up next, everybody. Real life hot topics, reality stars Tamika Tiny Harris and her best friend Shekana are here. <laughs> the juiciest hot topics to cure your midweek blues. And new co-host of The View, Nicole Wallace. Plus, look scary, but in a good way. Get this year's hottest Halloween costumes for you and your whole family. <laughs> Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. Corner where we feature some of our favorite reality stars. Our first guests are two best friends. They decided to hit the road in a mobile hair salon. Take a look. I cannot believe this girl. She drives all the way from Atlanta and parks in the middle of nowhere. No hotel room, no nothing. Girl, we could have got goddamn kidnapped anything. Nobody wants you. I can't leave you in charge of well, that. I guess you need to have some goddamn about this. Because let me tell you something. I woke your ass up. I don't want to hit it. I don't want to hit it. When did you wake me this up? This morning. I woke you up. I woke you up before I pulled over and you didn't want to move. So hey, you're lying. Damn you, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Please welcome Tamika Tiny Harris and her best friend, Shekana Joe. <laughs> I love the show. Thank you. It is so cute. It's, it's, you know, one of those kinds of shows where everybody on reality TV does not have to fight or be called a hoe, you know? Just fun. Um, so welcome back. I understand you were in Africa? Yes. What were you doing? Just sat there doing a little business trip. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, with the hair? No, not this See, out there, your husband. Yeah, he's on his way back. Aw, nice. Yeah. Shekana, did you go? No. 
<laughs> well, um, I see, Tiny, that your ring is back on. It is. I had it's jammed on, though. No, for you, just for you, Wendy. We want to give you some ring cam, though. Can you zoom in on the gorgeousness of her ring? Wait. It is so gorgeous. Thank you. Now, yes. yeah, I keep mine on, and when it's off, that's when you know it's going down. Last time you were here, yours was off, and you tried to tell me that you jammed your finger, I and did. I didn't believe you. Yeah, but see, try to take it off now. It's oh, not coming off. Exactly. You're married. You're stuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> Shikana, um, the concept of this show, first of all, I said this on our show before I even knew that this show was going to be a concept, that you two were so cute together, you should have your own reality show. <laughs> so, um... How how long was the actual trip on the road? Um, I want to say four weeks. Yeah, about three and a half. Yeah, yeah about three and a half, four weeks. So cute. Now you um, put a picture on Instagram, and I want to show everybody. Um, put, show Shakana's picture. Uh huh. I now, took that picture. Can I get any credit? Uh, I took that picture. She took the picture. All right. So <laughs> Shakana, what I love is that you're open about your butt implant. Now. It's not a butt implant, Wendy. What, what is it? Tell me. It's actually fat transfer. Oh, so you got it what, taken out of your stomach? And I got you, it oh. took out my stomach. I kind of got it took out my back. I got it took out of everywhere I felt like fat was at and put it in my behind. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> you got that done in Atlanta? Yes, ma'am, by Dr. J. Kurz. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Now, how much was that? Um, it's not, It goes from anywhere from $10,000 to $18,000. $18,000. Well, that's yes, a big butt, so that was an $18,000 no. butt? <laughs> <laughs> No, you guys, what ended up happening to me is I got off the diet he gave me. Okay. So as I eat, the butt grow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's no additions. No, no more fat transfer. It's just yes. when I eat, she grow. Thank you for the honesty. A lot of people aren't. Now, Tiny, last time that you were here, I never got around to asking you about Iggy Azalea, although she wasn't on fire the way she is right now. Yeah. Your husband is Iggy's mentor. Yeah. Um, how how did you react uh, when you heard about Snoop saying what he said about Iggy and then your husband jumped in to try to be peacemaker? Well, you know, I was in Africa and I was a little shocked because, I mean, you know, I know Snoop and Tip are really good friends. Yes. So, um, but I think that it got, um, I know when I spoke to Tip, he was like, yeah, I spoke to, you know, Snoop and we talked, it was cool and, you know, they, uh, they hashed it out really cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know much what was going on or why, but, I mean, you know, Iggy's a good girl. You know, I was going to ask you, she, I mean... I like her. Yeah, I like her. She's and and I don't like that people hate on her, I think, because she's a white rapper and she's yeah. not from our country. But she's great. Yeah. 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 So, Shikana, now, Tiny's married. She's got a man. Mm -hmm. What's your situation? Because uh. <laughs> you're walking around with a whole lot of booty. Yeah, and I, and I have someone that I'm dating. You Aww. know, we've been dating for a minute. It's not the world's business. Yes. But um, it is what it is, yes. you know, and I'm happy. Yes. Aw, yeah. great. Well, look, <laughs> since you all are here... Um, I want to ask your opinion on some celebrity hair uh, styles. So it's time for a game of hair do or hair don't. Okay. Hit it. Okay. So bad, I just said, how you doing? I you bet I want to You can say, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I've been dying to do that shit for my whole life. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at Beyonce's bangs. Shikana, we'll start with you. Is this a hair do or a hair don't? I love you, B, okay? I love you, but you took me back to the 70s. I love it, but it's kind of different. So I don't... You cute, though. She beautiful. I don't want to yes. have this. I don't know. Tiny? I'm in between. I mean... I love B. I love B. And love she her. can rock anything. And she's rocking this, but this is not my them. favorite. So I'm going to say her don't. Yeah. This is not my favorite. Me too. If the, if the bangs are like an inch longer, even an inch, you know? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's take a look at Khloe Kardashian. Hair do or hair don't? Okay. It's, it's both for me. Yeah, I like the rock braids. Yes, I like the I, I like the braids, but the ends, but the ends. they kind of got ratchet a little bit on us. Yeah, <laughs> and they they look like they're stiff, like you they're know, not having like any move no, she's moving not... at the same time. Okay, no, so what? They could be, but the ends are like with rubber bands on the end. No, they're yeah. not. They burnt actually. You see? Are they? <laughs> it's, so they got to do or don't. Don't. You should just leave the hair, you know, at the do end. And you don't. Just let do them, and don't. You know? Yeah. Do for you if you're working out. Like, I, forget all that. If you're working out, it costs a lot to keep your hair out while you're working. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's a hair cute. do. I think she, I, I I think like she looks cute rolls. in it. I like cornrows. I just don't like the bottoms. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, the burnt ends. Yes. Uh -huh. I just think they should have been loose. All right, let's take a look at Halle Berry's new hair. Yes. Yes, Halle. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely a hair do. 
she chic. I like that. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, our last one is Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Hairdo or hair don't? He has really beautiful girly hair. Yes, really beautiful. I don't know what's going on. Bruce, you look good, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> She's so playing it's, and it, safe. It's a don't all the way across. <laughs> all right, it's nice to see you, ladies. You too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Tiny and Shikana's Weave Trip. It airs Monday nights tonight at 9.30 on VH1. Such a cute show. Up next, everybody, audience members are going to sound off on Hot Topics. Don't go far. So much more of The Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments. Catch my after show and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Opinions. That's why they're my co-host. It's time for audience sound off on on today's hot topics. How you Hi, doing? Wendy. How you doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Um, I would like to sound off on Kanye West. Okay. Um, I don't think Scott should be banned from the family because I think it's a little hypocritical. I mean, that baby's probably seen a lot just being in the family, and I think Kanye has you know some problems of his own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, if they were in my family, um, you know, if that person had an alcohol problem or whatever, you would probably take them in and help them instead or, of banning them from Or the at the family. very least, you wouldn't, you know, my thing is that you, sh you sh North and Scott should not be together alone, maybe. Right. right. But, I mean, don't let them babysit the kids. Yeah, but like, yes, <laughs> yes, perfect. Like, take them with a pumpkin patch, but then, yes. like, whatever. Well, then yeah. Scott would have to drive. No. <laughs> I know what you're saying, I'm sure though. they have a driver. Yes, you're probably <laughs> correct. Well, thank you very much for All your right, opinion. Yeah. That's it. All right, well, up next, we're doing Pop Quiz. Don't go far. Erica's from Maryland. It's time for Pop Quiz on today's Hot Topics. No helping audience. Erica? <laughs> Kylie Jenner is rumored to be dating a rapper named Tyga. What is the name of Tyga's baby's mother? Is it A, Black China, B, White Porcelain, or, or C, Black Tyga? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Um, I think it was Black China. Yes, correct, correct. Okay. Here's your second and final question. Um, Missy Elliott just debuted her new weight loss. How many pounds did Missy lose? A, 10 pounds, B, 30 pounds, or C, 100 pounds? Um, she looked good. <laughs> I think it was 30 pounds. Yes! Oh! Congratulations, girl. We are gonna send you and a guest Thank to have you. a delicious meal at a place here in the city called Ariba Ariba. Yes! Right? Tomorrow on the show, everybody, Paula Abdul is here. Plus, I got you covered with the hot topics. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye. <laughs>